Well, that's it. Uh, your CPU is working. You did it. You learned all kinds of new skills, or at least touched on them. Um, hopefully this has inspired you to dig deeper into each of these things. So you learned about digital logic, a very fundamental skill. You learned about RISC-V and CPU microarchitecture. RISC-V, of course, an extremely hot topic these days. Very good to have some knowledge of RISC-V um, instruction set architecture. You learned about transaction level Verilog, um, the, you know, the latest uh, version of Verilog for very productive uh, design. You learned, uh, you know, simple uh, combinational logic expressions. TL Verilog has a lot more to offer, both in terms of, uh, you know, even more simplicity versus Verilog, as well as extremely powerful capabilities to uh, design much more flexibly and in much less uh, code. And you learned the maker chip platform for doing development. Um, including the visualization feature. This is a feature that's um, to be released soon in the MakerChip platform, but you've seen it before it's publicly available. And, uh, and you've developed skills that are, you know, all very cutting edge skills that are going to put you ahead of the curve. So again, I hope you're inspired to look further and congratulations on getting through the course and learning all these great skills. So what's next? Uh, by all means, brag about your accomplishments on social media. Uh, you deserve it. Capture your work on GitHub. Uh, GitHub, these days, it's the new resume. It's the first place I look when I'm looking at candidates. Um, I like to see how they code. Um, you can show off what you've done on GitHub and demonstrate that you've got these skills. Um, this uh, tutorial is a very much pared down version of a workshop that I've been running with Kunal, the Myth Workshop, Microprocessor for You in 30 Hours. Um, if you've been inspired by this tutorial, sign up for the workshop. It's a five-day workshop. Um, and, you know, learn more about these things on your own. You can learn more about RISC-V at riskv.org. You can learn more about TL Verilog using the various resources in MakerChip. You can learn about uh, coding pipelines in TL Verilog coding state, coding uh, validity, hierarchy, transactions. Uh, like I said, there's a lot more to transaction level Verilog. Um, all um, very simple constructs that have very powerful ramifications for circuit design. Um, so thanks for participating and uh, hope to see you again.